Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love messages. These will be from the 23rd to the 29th of August. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers, the more we grow the channel, the more we get the messages out there, the more readings I will be able to do for you guys. So um, if you haven't already, I would be very grateful if you could just hit that little like and subscribe button. Uh, things are changing in the True Love Tarot world. I have been adding some new readings types. Um, we're gonna change up the weekly reading type. I am going to remove the three card picker card at the end, and I'm gonna actually start releasing it as a separate reading. Um, throughout the week at some point. So it will be a little bit different this time. We'll still look at your love situation, your feelings, your person's feelings, most likely outcome and romance angel, as well as some advice. Um, but that three card picker card will be released in a separate um, video. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of the details down in the description box below. Remember also these are general love readings, so they're not gonna resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's perfectly fine. Maybe hit that no notification button or the subscribe button um, so that you can get the next message, which just might well be specially for you. All right, let's do love messages, please, for Sagittarius, Sagis. I thought I had done Sagittarius, but I haven't. Sagittarius. Love messages for Sagittarius, please, for this week. Oh, there we go, Sag. Coming out. This is always such a talky deck. Like, it always just wants to bring its own cards out. Oh, there we go. A tower. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now, is it oh, dear? We don't know yet. Towers can be good things. We know that they can be good things. Okay, the King of Pentacles in reverse. He's looking at that tower. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay. I'm not sure this is a good tower yet. We'll come to that. I'm getting two here. Oh, dear. Okay. Someone's thinking a lot about how they could have done a situation differently. They're kind of ruminating on it with the um, Seven of Pentacles here and the Hermit. It's like, what, what could I have learned? What could I have done differently? Um, there's a lot of reflection happening. You may be dealing with a Virgo. One more, please. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone is definitely um, trying to use their intuition I feel like someone's trying to use their intuition not to be single anymore. I'm going to clarify that further because that's a bit weird, but someone's regretting. There seems to be a lot of, I know there's no regret cards here, but there seems to be a lot of regret here. There's a lot of reflection. There's a lot of what could I have done differently? What, what could I have learned? What should I have learned from this experience? What is this tower, please? Tell me what the tower is, please. Okay, Ace of Wands in reverse. Two more. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords. Okay, so it looks like maybe on the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Someone has tried to apologize for whatever they've done, which is a page of pentacles that we're seeing. But I'm not sure that the apology was particularly sincere with the Five of Swords. It was like they apologized because they felt they had to um, or they're going to apologize because they feel like they had to. But this is kind of a situation that didn't quite go anywhere. The Spark is was not there. Um, tell me about that King of Pentacles in reverse. Like, it's like it's, it wasn't. I feel like it was never. Uh, it was like a situation ship. It wasn't a like a, there was no formal titles. It wasn't boyfriend girlfriend. It might have been a casual relationship for some reason, but it might have meant something more to one person than the other. Tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse, please. 
yeah, the Knight of Swords, someone was just in it for themselves here. There was, they weren't actually, they didn't really have anything serious in mind. Death card in reverse. Yeah, they weren't wanting to change. Tell me about that death card, please. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Tell me about the death card. I don't think they wanted to change their ways. They kind of just wanted to keep things the way they were. Yeah, they wanted to keep it really cold and icy. They didn't want to get any emotions involved with that Queen of Swords here. Um, it was like, I want to keep my distance from you. I'm going to keep you at a sword's length here. She's very cold. She doesn't get emotionally involved. She only makes intel like heart head over heart decisions. Um and I think that that's why the King of Pentacles is looking at this mess because they may actually not have realized, and I feel like this is the other person for a lot of you. Again, general reading roles can be reversed, but I think that they thought that you were both on the same page and then now they've realized they're looking back at this mess and saying, oh, dear, um, I thought that Sagittarius knew that this was something that was casual and it wasn't or something that wasn't serious not necessarily casual but not going anywhere you might not have been you might have been exclusive but it wasn't it wasn't a relationship I don't know how else to say it was like a situationship um it, I and I don't and I, that's what I mean I feel like they there's almost this obligation to oh I feel like I should really apologize to Sagittarius but it's not like they apologizing to come back they're apologizing for what happened because it's come to a sudden halt with the wheel of fortune it's like whoa the time has stood still and this is I think you reflecting going oh my god how could I have done this differently how could I have you know turned this into a relationship so that I'm not single but and you're using all of your kind of intuitive powers and thinking and you know connect you may be doing manifesting that sort of stuff but it's not um it's not necessarily anything you could have done tell me about the wheel of fortune please i don't think i think that it just was not there was not enough passion here with the ace of wands yeah, see, it was like there was, you guys weren't on the same page here with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, someone may have been hiding their true feelings as well. Tell me about that Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Six of Wands. It's like, how did this fail? I don't want this to be a failure. One more. And the star card in reverse. Yeah, you have lost hope. I feel like this has failed. This is not something that you did, Sagittarius. This is a situation that just wasn't meant for you. It was it was literally just a situationship. And I know you're reflecting going, oh, well, how could I have made it go differently? Um, what if I had have done this? Maybe they would have wanted to be with me. What if I had have done that? Maybe, maybe this could have turned into something more. I don't think that there was ever the opportunity for that. Tell me about Sagittarius' thoughts and feelings, please. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You may be feeling quite jealous at the moment, particularly if you've discovered that, um, yeah, if they've got other people. You have really deep love for this person. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but I feel like there is a lot of jealousy if you've discovered that they have, they have other lovers or other people um, or they're seeing or they've, they've actually decided to see someone more seriously and actually, um, you know, you, you were maybe, dare I say, like a booty call kind of situation and now they've got themselves into a relationship. You might be feeling quite jealous about that. Um, tell me about the other person's thoughts and feelings, please. Sagittarius is other person's thoughts and feelings, please. Oh, I'm going to have to plug the light on in a minute. It's very kind of dark in here. Five of Wands in reverse. Two of Swords. Two more, please. Justice. Oh, they're feeling bad. They are actually feeling bad about this. They don't want to fight with you. They didn't expect this to cause a conflict or a problem between you guys. Yeah, they're feeling, they don't want to feel bad about this. They don't want you to feel bad about this. They feel like this was wrong. Um, they're in their head about it majorly with the two of swords. They're like, I don't know what to do. I, don't, I, I didn't mean for this to happen. 
um, and the five of wands here telling me that um, yeah they didn't mean for this to cause any sort of drama at all they didn't they genuinely thought you guys were on the same page over here they didn't realize this could be you who hid your your true feelings for this person um, yeah. all right what's the most likely outcome here please for Sagittarius Okay, they may come towards you and try and communicate here with that Knight of Wands. Um, Hierophant. Mm. Maybe dealing with a Taurus or a Leo even. We have Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer, Virgo. You've got big arcana here. This was a this was a lesson for you, um, but not in a bad way, in a good way. Um, and the lesson is, is really like you can't you can't make someone love you. You can't force a situation to happen, no matter how much you want it to happen. Um, with the star card and the high priestess here, um, so we've got Cancer, uh, Pisces uh aquarius or oh, testing my my knowledge now um virgo oh, well, <laughs> i'm lost libra oh gosh uh gemini leo taurus uh, scorpio scorpio again but there's obviously all of the signs here but they're the strongest ones coming through two more please for the most likely outcome Sorry, I feel very scattered, which is probably how you guys are feeling as well. Two more. Yeah. Okay. I think they're going to come towards you to try and have uh, some sort of communication to talk about what's happened. Um, they may want to explain whatever if they have got themselves into some sort of relationship. Um, they may want to try and explain that to you. Um, that it, it and. I don't know why people would want to do that, but um, I don't know that you're going to want to talk to them or that you're – just be careful also that they're not breadcrumbing you, keeping you on the side while they work out what's going on. Um, I don't really get that vibe, but that's what that card can sometimes mean. I think it's more that I think you're deciding not to put any more effort into this um, at the moment – I think once they come forward and try and have this conversation with you, that's when you're like, okay, I'm not actually investing in this anymore. Um, I'm not giving anything else to it. And, and that's where you will have kind of that closure that you might be looking for at the moment. Let's go with advice, please, the Sagittarius advice. Yeah, you feel like this is a missed opportunity, but I feel like Spirit's about to say it's not. Take one more. Yeah, this isn't a missed opportunity. I know you feel like you've missed out um, because this person didn't kind of fight for you and cut you off, essentially. They kept you cold, but... It's, it's like this is all about them. This is not something you did. That's, that's the, kind of the advice. You need to realize that this, is a, this was about them. This is, you could not have done anything differently here, um, Sagittarius. Two more, please. Mm. This is your anxiety. Ah, love it. So it's saying, look, don't worry. Don't worry because you actually have better things on the horizon here. Your ships are about to come in. So start looking forward. Don't look back anymore. Only look forward. Release the anxiety that you're feeling. Release the blame. There's a lot of self-blame here and it's coming through in this, this hammer in reverse um, on top of the seven of pentacles. Um, again, I can't stress this enough. There's nothing more you could have done here. Um, this just wasn't a situation that was meant, meant to be. Can I have a romance angel card, please? 
because you've got you actually have something better spirit's got something better ahead for you it's like there you have your ships are coming in um you need to look forward because your your future is out there not in here not in your bedroom crying so stop that i'm putting my serious teacher voice on now um stop it you're better than that you are better than that you know it see this is why spirit is saying you need to stop this you need to you need to release the anxiety do meditation do get out with your friends do things that make you feel good because once you once you release this anxiety that you attach to here and you start looking out into the future this is what's coming in for you sad calling in your soulmate your soulmate is coming in for you and it this is why this is such a hard lesson because it may be the last lesson you have to learn before you get the soulmate. You've got deception on the bottom of the deck as well. So this is this was a big lesson that you you can't make someone love you. They either do or they don't, but it's not in your control. Only your stuff's in your control. Their stuff is in their control. And you don't want you don't want to make someone. You want your actual person who loves you equally who comes in because they're made for you because they're a soulmate because they're divinely connected to you that's what you want you don't want to be forcing something because that that's a toxic relationship all right so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel make sure that you uh hit me up in the comments if you feel like you need a personal reading for your particular circumstances let me know the details are down in the description box below like i said there's a whole new suite of readings coming out which i'm super excited about so subscribe because even if this one wasn't yours or it only partially resonated um, you know, maybe the next message will be for you. So that will be really important. I will be talking to you all very soon. Have a great day. Bye.